I, you know, I tell a story in one of my books. I, one of the, the most rewarding things I ever did was go out to the airport, push the hangar door open all by myself, get in the airplane, taxi it out, get permission to take off, and when, when the wheels came off, I turned my radio off. I don't have to talk to anybody or, for 600 miles, and I, I, I don't know where I'm going to land. I didn't file a clearance. Nobody knows where I am, and just hell with the world, you know. It, it, this is me now, and screw all the rules. And I'm flying at two or 300 feet. I'm pulling up to go over telephone poles and looking for animals that run all over Yellowstone and in Montana and Wyoming and Colorado, wonderful animals out on the plains, on, on the front range of the uh, front range of the Rocky Mountains. Lots of elk and buffalo and deer, and looking for Indian ones. I mean, and then I don't know where I'm going to land. I remember one time I'd never been to Fort Laramie, which was a very important army fort during the Indian Wars. Mm -hmm. But I knew it was at the confluence of the Laramie River and the South and the North Platte. Mm -hmm. So I'm flying along looking at a map and I see the Laramie River. I'm just, I'm just going to go to Fort Laramie. I turned right and flew for 300 miles following the river. And sure enough, I, and I landed uh, at the little airport there and rented the car and went to Fort Laramie. But that's the kind of exhilarating things that, that I mean, I, one of my rules was I don't want a reservation. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I, w I would reserve a car, but I never had a hotel reservation. I mean, that's civilization, and I wasn't going to be a part of that. <laughs> I slept in my airplane, and I slept on the banks of the little Popoaki River in Lander, Wyoming one time. I enjoyed the hell out of it. beats the hell out of a motel room. <laughs> and a lot cheaper.